So you've made it to the Ashlands, through the spires and the serpents, and now there's an angry bowling ball trying to rip off your face. Now the question becomes, how should you dress for the occasion? But before we discuss your viking fashion, we need to see what kind of damage the undead Pac-Man is packing. This ball of hugs has four types of attacks. A vicious bite, a roll from left to right, a swipe with all its might, and one that's just not right, a body slam. Its first attack, the bite, deals 160 pierce damage. The second type of attack is a roll, the either left or right, both directions dealing 50 blunt damage, but they're not really that much of a threat unless you're in a small area such as a putrid cave. Next up, there are four swipe directions, each dealing 160 pierce damage. And finally, the body slam deals 160 blunt damage. With these numbers in mind, the most protective option for fighting these enemies is the heavy armor with a root chest plate. However, with all the fire damage that's prevalent in the Ashlands, I would recommend just wearing full heavy armor for the most protection, unless you're in a putrid cave. With that said, bringing a root chest plate along and putting it on as you enter the putrid cave is a pretty good idea, especially early on, as it will drastically reduce the damage that you take. Once I start actually acquiring Ashland's level gear, I'll probably start throwing on a medium set of armor with a heavy helmet to avoid the speed debuff, but the Magic, Fast, and Fenris sets are also certainly viable options if they fit your playstyle better. So now, how do you kill it? The Hamster Ball from Hell has 1600 health, more than a Yawl, a Seeker Soldier, or a Fallen Valkyrie. The good news is that it can be stunned and it's not that hard to do so. They also never have stars. This rotund beast is resistant to blunt, slash, pierce, and fire damage, while being weak to lightning. As such, the best melee weapons for this enemy when you first enter the Ashlands are the Mistwalker, Himanalf, and Frostner. I would highly recommend using either the Mistwalker or the Frostner, since both of those weapons will slow him down a bit. Once you get into Ashlands level gear, your highest damage options are the Stormstar and the Scourging Slayer. However, the level 4 Mistwalker is definitely still a good option due to the frost effect and the ability to hold a shield. Also something to note is that this Eldritch Abomination seems to be vulnerable when first coming out of the ground, and seems to only attack if the player is directly in front of them. Since he turns relatively slowly, you can quite easily stay behind or to the side of him and be completely safe. When it comes to bows, it's not that hard to guess that the Spine Snap is your best option early on, but you should switch to a Stormfang as soon as possible with, for this creature. Frost and Poison Arrows share the highest damage, but of course I'd highly recommend the Frost as you always want your enemies to be as slow as possible. The best magic weapon is a bit more subjective, and it'll let you figure out what the best crossbow is for this creature that's weak to lightning. So the last thing I wanted to talk about was what this pinata drops. So this creature drops 1-2 to two sinew, has an 80% chance to drop a heart, and a 5% chance to drop a trophy. If I missed anything, be sure to let me know down below. And if you enjoyed or found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to help this video reach more people. Have a good one, and don't get rolled in the Ashlands.